Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Mall of Africa. This is the Crystal Court. And of course, this is the 14th annual South African Film and Television Awards nominees announcement ceremony coming to you live on Expresso Morning Show on SABC3. Our thanks to you for joining us for this live broadcast. Now, in the next category, we're going to be or announcing the nominees of those that in the past have really brought us great success. Films like Inleba, films like Tsozi and So the Winter to My Skin. And in fact, Mr. Presley Treniachai was awarded in this very same category way before his uh, massive days on the river. I've been waiting all my life to say that. He's really inspired me with that. So ladies and gentlemen, with that said, let's take a look at the category of Best Achievement in Directing for a Feature Film. The nominees for Best Achievement in Directing, Feature Film, Fila Second, Brett Michael Enns, Knuckle City, Jamal XT Kubega, Poppy Nongena, Christian Olvachen. A big round of applause for our nominees, Best Achievement in Directing of a Feature Film. Now, as you can imagine, being given the task of carrying the emotion through a feature film is certainly not an easy feat at all. And so with that, we recognize now the nominees for the best actor in a feature film. Take a look. The nominees for best actor in a feature film. Albert Barker Pretorius as Constant in the CMU. Johannes Stephanus Baum as Herman de Beer in the Verhaal van Rachelki de Beer. Bongi Le Mantai as Dudu Nyakama in Knuckle City. City. Congratulations to our nominees in that Best Actor category, which brings us, of course, to the ladies, the Best Actress in a feature film, and here are the nominees. The nominees for Best Actress in a feature film, Sandra Prinsloo as Irene in DCMU, Zenobia Klopes as Fila Komoti in Fila Second, Clementine Zita as Popi Nongena in Popi Nongena. A big congratulations and a round of applause to all our nominees in the past three categories. And to join me on stage right now, I'd like to invite Brett Michael Innes, who's been nominated in the category for Best Achievement in Directing for a Feature Film, as well as uh, Bongi Limantai from Knuckle City. Let's have them both on stage. A round of applause, please. There we go, there we go. Etc. etc. Uh, congratulations to both you gentlemen on your exceptional work that you have de delivered. Um, how does it feel to be, you know, at this moment in your career right now, being nominated for this particular um, award? Look, it's always great to be acknowledged by your peers, especially when the competition is as high as it is. I mean, this is really... There's some great films being made this year, so it's just the fact that my name gets to share the screen with, with everyone here is a huge honor. What about you, sir? Molueni. Uh, what was your question? <laughs> <laughs> well, the question is about your, your feeling about standing here right now receiving this nomination for your stellar work. I think I'm trying to remind myself that is, these are nominations <laughs> because I think now I'm already in softers. But uh, it's a good feeling, uh, you know, after very hard work and doing this for a very long time and being recognized now, it's a very, very good feeling for me. It's an amazing one. Well, if you do want to, there are statues behind you. You can touch it temporarily, not take it home. There we go. Yeah. That feels good. <laughs> uh, Brett, talk to me about taking over the directorship of such an iconic book, Fila Sakint. It's, it's, it's a legacy in South Africa. Yeah, no pressure. Pretty much taking one of the most iconic Afrikaans novels as an Englishman and trying to take my spin on it. So I think I came into it as someone who loved the story. I read it as a 12-year-old in school. 
And when the opportunity came to direct it, I saw it as a moment to create a cinematic love letter to my own mother, who would do exactly what Fila Kamuti would do if I was taken from her, and she would, she would march over mountains to get to me. So um, the pressure kind of left when I knew that I was here to serve the story and not necessarily make it about myself. And, and to you, Bongile, uh, working on Knuckle City and being a practitioner of the arts, being a, receiving this, this nomination, uh, how much does it add to your encouragement and fuels your creativity in going forward and wanting to pursue excellence? Because that is what this is all about. Um, I mean, it's a, it's, it's a very big, big deal for us. I mean, we, we went to Mdanzane to, to shoot such a beautiful film and also for me, I, I would like to acknowledge the people of Mdanzani, acknowledge the boxers. I'm not a boxer myself, but when I went to Mdanzani, I, I really got my craft from the community of Mdanzani. Yeah. So basically for me, it, it reminds me where we come from. It reminds us uh, it's about time to tell our own stories. And I'm so happy that it went, we went to Eastern Cape to tell our own stories in our own languages, and it's so amazing to be nominated for that as well. I was about to ask you to give us a bit of a demonstration one two shuffle but I won't put you in the spotlight like that you might just punch my lights out or something. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> well, what, what future work can we expect from you are you working on any exciting projects right now absolutely yes yeah this is the part where you tell me what you're working on <laughs> what are you working on right now um, I'm still on scandal at the moment we are busy with uh, the team of yellow bone we are cooking something yeah called Blood Sums that we will switch in next month and we are also very excited about that. Yeah. yeah. Brett, if I could ask you to maybe give some uh, words of advice to young upcoming directors out there who would one day want to see themselves in your shoes. Sure, you need a lot of patience um, and then just support structure. I think the idea that we all work hard and just get you, there's, there's so many privileges that come into space that uh, enable you to do so. So surround yourself with good people. If you can marry a partner who isn't in the film industry, that's also a good idea because <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to go through the same drama. And then just tell stories that resonate with you. Fantastic advice. And what about you, sir? Your advice to young and upcoming actors and actresses out there? I think it's just a very simple one. If you want to be famous, stay away from this industry. But if you have a calling and you love what you do, come join the rest. Sage words indeed. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Congratulations to the both of you and to all our nominees thus far. We're going to take a quick break from our live broadcast, and when we come back, we focus on the categories of entertainment, including uh, best presenter and most popular TV soap or telenovela. And of course, don't forget to hashtag LoveSATalent and hashtag Safters14. We'll see you on the other side.